Maple Story 2 has a few new events for August. The top event is the lucky boxes. These are the lucky boxes. These are the keys. There's no limit on the amount of keys you can get a week. There is a limit to the amount of boxes. You can get 40 boxes a week, not counting the two that you get for logging in. So you get two boxes and two keys just for logging in. And that's every day between the two res between daily resets. You can get two keys and two boxes. To get the other boxes, you get one lucky box when completing a minigame. You get a small chance, it's like 1% or less, to get a box with each fish you catch. 1% chance per 15 seconds when performing. You can get them from the Twisted Pocket Realms, which those are in the PvP maps don't know if I'll be able to get one. Let's see. Let's see if I can pop one real fast to show you what these are. It's basically the Trevor farming. And a lot of people will just opt to do it this way. Ooh, I don't want to do that channel because this is also a PvP map. These red spots which are generally elites I normally don't do this map so let's figure it out here they are you kill the elites and hope a portal pops there's one now there's multiple different portals you can get this is a good one for the boxes you just come over here, kill these things that spawn with these boxes. And you'll, for this particular map, you'll see it on the map where the boxes are. You can also do the one to do... But anyway, the boxes have a chance to come out of these. So you open them and it has a chance to give you one of the lucky boxes. The slime one, the rainbow slime map and the mimic map do not have these chests so they will not give them to you. There's also two different sets of chests. These are the lower chest and then there's a higher version of the chest. I think it's the lucky... what is it called? The rare cache. That will give you a 50% chance where the small one that I just opened is only 10%. I've also already gotten the 50 that I've got that I can get for the week, so I can't get another one. And then you have for the keys, if you defeat a level 10 or higher elite monster, you get a chance to get a key. You have Wooden chest that I just opened has a 20% chance, and the golden chest has a 100% chance to get keys. These maps are also very good at farming for these keys because there's so many boxes and the boxes are 100% spawn rate. So, if you know where the golden boxes are in here, you can just go and open those and you will get them. And, like I said, you can only get 40 boxes a week. So it's up to you if you want to get all 40. I got all 40 pretty easily. Before reset, we were messing around trying to get them, and it took about two hours of Trevor farming. But since you can also do fishing and you can pair it up with a different event, then it's not really that bad. And like I said, the boxes are 100% in the Treva maps. Since I don't really want to farm Treva, since I find no point in doing that, I'm going to get out of there. There is a quest that you can accept. 
I think you accept this. I don't remember. You can either accept it from the exclamation mark or in Queenstown. I don't really remember which. But it says right here. And it's to open 200 boxes during the event period. And it also tells you information about each of these here. It gives you a title, 30,000 Onyx, told Toad's Toolkit, which these are used in place of extra weapons or armor pieces when trying to enchant, and they are legendary. So if I was going to enchant, say, my helmet, the catalyst or these toolkits would be down here and I would be able to use them in place of this helmet. It also gives lap uh, one of each of the three lapin shards. Oh, it gives three boxes. So three of each lapin shard for the RNG RBG dungeons. So the sword it will give you three sword of times, three Euphorious protection, three space rifts. And then two legendary armor bonus value rerolls. Uh, I'm assuming that these are going to be account bound. I know that these are account bound, but I'm going to assume the rest of them are account bound. So the shards will be bound to the character once you open the box, it looks like. So what can you get from out of the boxes? Why should you get the boxes? You can get elixirs, chaos onyx, onyx, crystal fragments, the RBG crystals, so red crystals, blue crystals, green crystals, special warrior tonic, special health tonic, special mage tonic. So since I have these 49, let's open them up and see what we get. Blue crystal, elixirs, Onyx crystals, red crystals, special warrior tonic, red crystal, chaos onyx crystal, blue crystal, special made tonic. And these are kind of annoying to open, to be honest, because you can't just go, hey, Liz, yes, I want to open all of them. You have to do it one by one. Well, as you can see here, I'm getting quite a bit of just random stuff. The stuff you get from these, I'll show you like here. These are account bound. They're unsellable, untradeable. And this is just one of the events that they're doing this month. It goes all the way until August 29th, but of again, the 40 box weekly limit is per week, not, and it seems to be per character, not per account, or per account, not per character, like some of the other stuff. So you can kind of get a hint of how it is and you see how it's gone up to 91. The next event is this pink bean letter collection event. I, this is the big quest for it, the quest for the whole event. You're going to want to collect this. You get it from Queenstown. So you go to Queenstown. And it's over here in this corner, like all the other events, you know, the purple exclamation mark over here. 
and you will accept this quest here as well as a daily quest here which is to collect the letters. You get five of the pink kissy candy a day so you do need to turn this in daily to be able to get this but the big reward is the paint, the floating pink bean balloon, and the monkey dance emote. And what you do is this is the event. I've already done it, but you go and kill world bosses. I don't think Chucky has a letter, and I know Devillian Chief does not have a letter, but the rest of them should have letters. And what they do is they have letters over their names. Uh, I don't know what world boss is up. Ah, let's go here. And each week, you'll have three different letters to get. Or at least this is how it was the last time they had this event. And as you can see over here, you see the letter above the boss's name. You can collect as many letters as you want and then turn them in later. You don't have to do world bosses every single day. You just do some and then you can turn them in. That's how I did it. And you get these. Five of these a day. And that's what you need for this quest. There is also a fishing event. You get one lore a day from logging in. It is this lore right here. Metal strainer. You use a metal strainer and you fish. You can either fish manually or you can fish auto fishing. But, of course, you still have to fish to be able to use it. You can't just sit there. And you can get quite a few things. Like, heavily in pedals, it can be one, three, or permanent. One day, two day, or three days, or permanent. Modesty starfish, one day, three day, or permanent. Dangling seaweed bottoms, one day, three day, or permanent. Krabby claws, one day, three day, permanent. Krabby slippers, one day, three day, permanent. One high flyer which a high flyer is just a food item to for HP. One fresh fruit platter, which increases the max health of party members. One free rototaki, one revive voucher, one instant gathering voucher. Now it's pretty straightforward. You use a lure, you use your auto fishing voucher, and you fish. It can be anywhere. There's no limit to where you have to do it at. The other one is the reward calendar. This will be the last one. Which is basically you log in. Every day you log in for an hour between the events dates up there. You get the next item on this list. You can skip a few days if you need to or not. There's three hour fishing, three hour uh, performing vouchers in here. There's lucky boxes that are going to be bonus lucky boxes. There are elixirs, uh, instant gathering vouchers, there's these pet things, lapis snares, there's this music box, uh, revive voucher, special hairstyle voucher, marine day chat bubble, and the marine day name tag. And those are the events. So I hope this helps. I know that the box can be kind of confusing to some people. But I really hope all this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.